On to news from here at home, the protest marches by university lecturers and students urging the immediate resolution of problems plaguing the higher education sector continued for the fourth day today. Now the protest marches which were launched from Gaul and Peradeni on Monday are scheduled to reach Colombo tomorrow. The protest march organized by the Federation of University Teachers commenced today's leg from the Kalutura bus stand. The protesting lecturers obtained blessings by engaging in religious activities opposite the Kalutura Bodhya. This is a very important period for us. If the artists cannot come forward at a time like this when the intellectuals are being disgraced, I think there is no point in having artists in the country. People are gathering in large numbers, shedding all political and trade union differences in order to protect free education in this country. They have understood this. It is the duty of the government to create an environment where university students will be able to pursue their academic activities without hindrance. Representatives of a number of political parties and trade unions participated in the protest march in support of the university lecturers. Not only politicians, trade unionists, members of several organizations and artists are joining this protest. This work is not for lecturers only. The protest march which will reach Colombo tomorrow arrived at its overnight stop in Moratua where Kalutura, Wadua and Panadura. <laughs> Meanwhile, the protest march organized by the Inter-University Students Federation, which will also be arriving in Colombo tomorrow, resumed today's leg from Nikitambua. Currently, a number of issues have cropped up regarding the education in the country. The rulers of the country are taking steps that leads towards the destruction of free education. We are organizing this march to rally the public and students against this. <laughs> The fourth day of the march ended in Kadavata.